Hello my fellow YouTuber, welcome back. This is Marceline at CashierGreens.com So today in this video is about how to build a fog panic system. But before continue this video, if this is the first time you come across to my gardening channel, consider to subscribe below. Also don't forget, click the bell for notifications so you'll get notified on my next new video. And if you want to see more advanced gardening ideas, just check the video suggested on the top of the corner of the screen and see you on the next page. Alright guys, so I promised you last week that I'm going to show you on how to build this fog panic system. I just bought this monster propagator and I'm going to build that today and I'm going to show you on how to build this system. So let's check it out. Meet me on the other side. Alright, so the first thing you need to do, this is the uh, monster propagator guys. So the first thing you need is to uh, pre-drill this uh, lid and then before you create a hole. So what you need, just drill it. Okay. Alright guys, so that is the reason why you have to pre-drill the, uh, uh, the lid before you create a hole. Because it's much easier. So let's drill a hole. So what you need is just stick this drill and then you have to push down until it locks. My boy. So put it on here. There you go. Now once it's locked in there, you have to reverse the drill. There you go, you got the hole. Easy breezy, but just be careful. So we're going to finish this one here. I'm not really showing the whole uh, process in here. I just want to show you guys on how to drill a hole in the lid. So if you are not comfortable with this, don't use it. Have the other guy. So my partner in here, she's watching me. <laughs> so, so what we're doing here, we're going to finish this one and I'm going to show you guys the setup. Alright guys, so this is done. We already drilled. This is the bigger uh, cloning machine that I had in my greenhouse. So this is the monster. So it has like 67 uh, cell in here. So 67 plants that I can put in this machine. So we need to have, our goal is to have 400 cuttings. So if we have so many of this, so we are all set. So what we are going to do here, we are going to clean this. Then after that, we are going to try our... Uh, I have something in here. I'm going to show to you this machine. So these are the machine, guys. Now, because this is a bigger one, so you n definitely need three uh, fogger. Because if it is two, it is not enough to distribute all this fog. So we are going to test this one, okay? So let's get started. So what we are doing here, we are going to test this uh, uh, fogger in this uh, shallow basin and also we do it in the deep water and see you know how they perform. As you can see in the deep water the fogging action is not working mm -hmm. too deep, too much water. Now what we are going to do is we are going to put it inside of the fogging, uh, the float device. This is too shallow. No, it's too deep. Oh, too deep. Watch. Okay. okay. So that's how the uh, the fog, and it's really cool. Okay. So this is you already know how to set up the machine. So what we're doing here is just. Uh, a short demonstration okay so you push it down all right let's see okay so that is how it works guys 
can you imagine how awesome is that so this is the fog machine so this is how you test your materials first before you set up the whole system so this is why the fog panics is an awesome kind of propagation because the water is distributed into a fog distributed to all your cuttings it's almost like you are smoking outside so I as I mentioned earlier that the machine that we're building today is a bigger machine so we need three fogger in that machine the machine that I had in the greenhouse is a smaller one, so I need only two mach two foggers in there. So make sure that you have an exact uh, fogging system in your in your uh, container because otherwise you would not be able to uh, distribute all those fog to all your cuttings. So it's working, and the other one is is that a controller? That's the air pump. Oh, the air pump. Yeah, so you definitely need an air pump. So we're going to put this one. So let's go to the other side again. So this is a bigger uh, container, guys. So this one holds 65, uh, 67, I mean 67 plants. So our goal here is to propagate 400 cuttings. So we're going to propagate the citrus 400 cuttings. So that is our goal. So if you have a lot of this, so you're all set. So what we're going to do here, we're going to clean this because after I drilled them, I had too much uh, uh, stuff inside, as you can see. So you definitely clean this container before you, you start the setup because otherwise it would uh, clog your machine. So this is an awesome, an awesome propagator and I would encourage you guys to build a fog panics. When you do a propagation, if you want this uh, uh, propagation seriously, then you, you need to have a bigger machine. So what we're doing here after we clean up, then we will put the machine, the fogger. So we already tested the fogger and it was working. So we're going to Take some cuttings and plug in in here. So this is the the machine, the container, the fogger. We already finished drilling. Look at this one, guys! It's huge. So this this container holds 65 cuttings. So our goal here is to propagate 400 cuttings of citrus. And if we have a lot of this, so we're all set. So these are 67 cells uh, in this container. The other container that I had in the greenhouse, it's only 45 cuttings that I can put it in there. So I thought that the bigger one, it's much better. So when you do this kind of system, if you do the bigger one, make sure that you have three uh, fogger uh, that you put in the machine because otherwise most of your cuttings would not be able to have that fog so the fog would distribute better if you have three foggers inside the container so we already tested the the fogger and it was working so what we're doing here we're going to clean this uh, container because there are too much stuff inside as you can see these are not good if you don't clean it properly because otherwise it would damage your machine so let's get going and clean it up <laughs> so make sure you have to clean it properly. Take all those uh, leftover, leftover. What do you say? Boogers. <laughs> Boogers is what he said. <laughs> all right. So we will uh, fill this with water. So when you refill the water, make sure that you refill it with tap water. 
Yes. And make and, sure you got it where you want it because it's going to weigh 500 pounds. Yeah, that's a lot. So we're going to move this in the, the ports. Water level up to about right here. Yeah, about three fourths. Mm -hmm. So you make sure that your water label is in perfect label, and you want that as closest to to the top because you want those fog to reach to the top surface. So let's get going, and we will move this one in the ports. My life depend on this fogger. <laughs> if you are serious about uh, propagation, guys, this is the best way to go, and this is one of my best propagation here in my my garden. This is my number one, and the good thing about this uh, fog panics is that you can just spot all your cuttings. You don't have to worry about drying out because the water is supplied all the time. So we don't need a heater because it's summer. The only thing you need a heater if it is winter. So you can do propagate mostly at any time with this machine. So in the winter, when you do this in the winter, you need a heater. 70, and, 70 degrees. And set it to 70, 72 to mm -hmm. degrees. 70, 75. 70, something like that. Like it has to be warmer because it, it is warmer. It, you know, it's easy for the cuttings to root so we're going to set up it in here so this is how you line up now in my other propagation we had problem of the hook hook up <laughs> so this time we will make sure that it is hooked up properly so this is all set before we begin setting up the monster machine let's understand about fog panics what are the advantages of the system and how is it benefit you as grower the term panics means labor, fog panics, we call it the working fog. It is a new improved aeroponics system which uses water in a vaporized form to transfer water nutrients and oxygen to all the plant root system inside the enclosed chamber. Now what are the advantages of this system? Why use fog panics? The advantages of the fog panic system, it allows you to grow plants successfully through propagation. It also minimizes water consumption because you only use a small particles of water to your plants through the fog. It also requires less energy because you are not using a bigger pump in the system. It also a space saver. So if you don't have enough space in your garden, this is the best method to grow plants. So we're going to do uh, finish the setup of the system today. So stay with me for a while guys because we're going to do some calculus, uh, calculation and conversion here because we have a 55 gallon container. So we need to know exactly how much chemicals are we going to uh, add into our water. So see me on the other side. This is a 55 gallon container and we are not going to fill the container to occupy the whole 55 gallon. So we calculate 30 gallon in the container. How much clonix clone solution are we going to add into the water? So let's calculate. The Clonix clone solution, we mix, we mix the solution 5 ml to 10 ml of Clonix clone solution per liter of water or 1 or 2 teaspoon per quart. But we have a 55 gallon uh, container and we don't fill the container with water so we calculated 30 gallon. Now we have to uh, do the calculation here. So here is what, what I come up. I had it here. Uh, written for you guys of how much clonix clone solution that you are going to mix in a 30 gallon container so to uh, keep it safe if we had a 55 gallon container, so it's better we just pour all of this whole bottle. So this is a quart, this is a uh, 946 ml. So if you're doing this propagation and you have a, uh, I mean, if you do this uh, type of system, if you had 55 gallon container, 
just for the whole clonic clone solution so let's go ahead and put this in now if you watch my other video on how to set up the cloning machine so i would encourage you guys to watch that video because i showed you on how to test the water first because you are supposed to test the water i already done this so i'm not uh, uh, doing all the whole thing so watch that video because there is a measurement of different chemicals that i added to the uh, water so check your water first before you add the clonics and the water should be 5.5 pH so that is the most uh, acceptable pH range when you do propagate the plants and also you test before and after you add the, the clonics so since it is already tested this is the pH is uh, perfect with this uh, container so what I'm doing here I'm going to pour this in so this is the uh, fog panics look like. So what we're going to do here, we're going to pour that clonix clone solution. So we're going to clone the whole entire bottle. So this clonix clone solution allows you to uh, root your cuttings faster. So I would recommend you guys if you want to do this kind of uh, propagation, if you build a bigger pagpanic system, so you might need maybe a gallon of this. I go through a lot of this uh, product. Beautiful. So I have uh, my partner here to put it back. So again, I have a technical issue of this container. So I have to strap it. So the next uh, project I'm going to follow up with you guys and hopefully I would do it right. Okay, so now it is placed in there. The fog system is already checked. So we are not going to do all of those uh, entire process. And I just encourage you guys to watch my video on how to set up the fog panics because I include that of information uh, on that video. So this one we're just going straight to do some propagation so let's go and take some cuttings so what I'm going to show you here guys I'm not really showing the whole entire process in propagation I'll just give you a, a little bit of information here so you need this this is an insert I mentioned this in my previous video you also need a 3 inch knit cup this is a CJ and what I'm doing here the first uh, thing that I noticed that when the plant uh, root system is, is forming I had a problem because to, the root is okay, covering all the entire knit cup and I, I had a hard time pulling them out. So I'm going to show you to prevent that by cutting all of this here and remove this uh, here, the lower part. So cut the bottom of the knit cup. You can use scissor or pruner. So I recommend you guys to cut half of it so when the cutting start to develop some roots, the roots doesn't tangle in the knit cup. So just like that, see, and then you just insert this uh, insert. All of this uh, product that I showed it to you in this video, guys, I'm going to link this on my video. So just check the link if you need this product when you do your plant propagation. I'm going to take cuttings from this rose. So right, you can see the flower is done. This is the most beautiful red rose I have it in here. This is the Veterans Honor. And I love this rose. So I'm going to take some cuttings in there. And I'm going to show it to you guys. So when you take cuttings, make sure that you have your uh, pizza with water because you want to put that cuttings right away into the water. And also uh, your pr your pr uh, pruner should be should be clean and sharp. And make sure that you disinfect your pruner every time you use it. So let's go ahead and take cuttings. 
Silic Dica thinks that it is healthy, like what you see here. So I'm going to propagate this this steam. This is a good healthy healthy steam. First thing you have to do is uh, spray your pruner. And then after you cut the cuttings, make sure you spray the new cut because you don't want the stem get infected. So spray with alcohol. So this is a, a good cutting. Then what you need, you remove remove the lower leaves. I take out some thorn in here because I don't want to get poked with the sharp thorn. okay so four to six inch so what i do i count each bud so from here two three four so i will cut it in here that's that piece and the next steps i always spray the top because you don't want that infection in here because what happens it turns black and to prevent that from happening you need to spray with alcohol so you can you can scrap here or you can just break it in half so I had to put it in here again closer to the nod just like that and then if you don't want to take out the cambium you can just create a slit like that to enjoy the steam then put directly right away to the water so let's go to the area so I do a lot of propagation here in my garden so I use I just bought this one I use the bigger container because it allows me to propagate more plants so if you wanna do this all the time I would recommend to get a bigger Clonix clone solution when you use the Clonix Clonix gel make sure that you don't stick your cuttings inside the container because you don't want to contaminate the whole bottle so find a small container like this and then you just pour a little bit and make sure you cover tightly so dip your cuttings in the hormone this uh, hormones allows you to speed up the propagation process so coat it really good now we're going to put this one in the fog panic okay y'all i just want to know how come you haven't subscribed yet i got up over 30 day ain't gone videos out there and i ain't getting enough subscriptions how come y'all haven't subscribed yet well, what's the purpose of all subscribing? Because when you subscribe, you help out my channel. And also, YouTube likes to send out more videos to everybody else as a recommended video. So, what do you think about that, Ma? Yo. Subscribe, yo. That was pitiful, Ma. <laughs> <laughs> Label this one. You don't know what is what plants exactly you, you grow. So, this is the veteran sunner. I'm going to label this. Okay, so I have this one here labeled. I write the name of the rose, Veterans Honor Rose. I'm going to place this one here in this cutting. So within uh, two weeks, this will start rooting. So what you need, place it in the container. Okay, 
Okay, so that's how you propagate using the fog panic system. So I'm going to follow up with you guys with my propagation here. This is a 45 gallon container. Look at that guys. Wow. This is the citrus I propagated within two weeks. This is how it looks. It has this massive root system. That's why I love about the fog panic system because once you uh, place the cuttings, you're all set. So you have high rate success in propagating the plants. So citrus is easy to propagate. And if you propagate the woody plants like the hibiscus, it's still root, but it takes a little bit longer. So how about the other one in here? So this is my hibiscus, uh, this is my citrus, and this is the hibiscus. Look at that, guys. That's crazy. Look at that. So beautiful. Look at how healthy is the root system. So I'm going to transfer this in the pot. And how about this geranium? Geranium is best in, propag in this type of propagation. So as you can see, if you don't transfer this right away, it turns brown because they want this one to be planted. So don't wait until the root system grow this long. So it's a little bit brown also, not enough oxygen in here. So I'm going to grow this one in a pour in spot. So if this uh, root is this long, so trim them. Make sure that you spray your pruner. Every time you use your pruner, spray them with alcohol. And then just trim a little bit in here. Because you don't want that excess. So after you have that, I use this uh, mycoplast. So I already have a lot of videos on how to transplant your cuttings. So the mycoplast will help the root system protecting that from pathogen so you just need a pinch and then what you do you just spread in the root and then place it in the container I use the happy frog soil because it's a good uh, it's a good texture of soil it is good drainage and then fill the container Okay, so so this is the mayor lemon, and I'm going to rip, I'm going to take all those uh, cuttings. All of the cuttings are rooted, so all of them, none of this container had uh, had cuttings that did not root. So you will be more successful using the system in propagating different type of plants. Alright guys, so this is the end of our video for today. And if you want uh, to ask questions or if you have comments, please just comment below this video or you can uh, write comments on cashyourgreens.com. And thank you for watching guys. If you like the video, please subscribe and also don't forget to share to all your friends. And see you next week. Bye-bye.